Well, today is New Year's Day, January 1st, and the Church today celebrates the Feast of Mary, the Mother of God, the greatest feast of the Virgin Mary that we celebrate in the year. Our Gospel today comes from the Gospel of Luke. When the angel had left them, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. After eight days had passed, it was time to circumcise the child, and he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Today's feast has changed throughout the years. When I was a child, this was a feast that was the feast of the circumcision of the Lord. But in recent times, since the Second Vatican Council, the shift has been more to the role of Mary in the Christmas mysteries. And we too are invited to contemplate her and the role that she played within salvation history. She was a young girl. She was no one in particular. And yet God chose her to be an instrument of his grace, an instrument of salvation. We have been told that Mary is the archetype of what it means to be a disciple. And today we are called, in looking at Mary, to rec recognize the call that we too have received, to open our hearts, to open our minds to the call that we have received, and to play our particular role at our particular time in history, and to allow God's grace to work through us. In conclusion, I would just like to offer you the blessing which is included in our first reading today. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. The staff and priest at uh, our parish offer you and all those who are listening to these reflections the peace of the new year. May God be gracious to you and bless you.